I thought I would take the time just to show you some finishing touches uh, that we've done in our polycrub um, just to make things a wee bit easier and a wee bit better. So one thing that we've done on each of the window frames and also the door frame is add just two wee cubes of wood uh, and drill some holes uh, so that we can get some rope through them. Um, so this is just old rope um, that was of no use to us anymore. Um, so we've made these holes quite tight. Uh, so what that means is that there's so much friction that the window won't actually open any more than the length of rope that you have out here. Uh, so that actually works very, very well. It's really easy to adjust. Um, all you need to do is pull some more rope through and then the window opens more. And to stop it closing completely, we've just been putting a wee block of wood here. And I have a similar setup here on the door, on the inside, uh, and we'll look through this window here, and also on the outside. And the thinking behind that is just to stop the door opening too much, uh, especially this one here. Um, and almost, you know, opening back on itself and actually, you know, breaking if it's very windy. And this is the window catches uh, from a distance. And also on, on the other door here. I have a nice wee hanging shelf here. Um, so this has just been uh, a length of timber um, that we've run through the planar thicknesser to get it to the right thickness. And we've just stuck on these wee edges, just so that if there's anything on it, it doesn't roll off if it if it was to move and we've just been using that for um you know anything that we might need um lollipop sticks and a pencil so we can label everything uh and that's just been attached here and um, this just screws into the timber and at this end um, just the same but into one of the tubes instead um, so there we go there's an idea of what it looks like and just small bits of accessory cord used to suspend it from the hooks or the loops. I also have this fold out potting table. And um, so it's just on a set of hinges here, just below the window frame. Um, so that just pulls up like this. If I had two hands, that would have been easier. And the two legs those again are just on hinges so when you lift the table up uh, you can fold the legs down so this leg is just on a hinge here and this leg it's offset in a little bit um, so that when they're folded up uh, they can mesh together and they just have a wee bit of reinforcement underneath so on the top got some edging um, just so if you have any soil or anything it doesn't all fall out and in each of the corners just have a wee slot here so that we can brush everything to the edge and then brush it out the slot into a bucket or a bag so there we go that's our potting table the final kind of customization that we've done is just a wee hanger uh, or template for my wand. Uh, so I'll do a review on this wand at some point, uh, but this is what I use for most of my watering and it just hangs up in here. Uh, so it's held up out the way and off the ground. It just hangs up at the side of the window.